Well, good morning, guys. Spent the night in my truck camper. Got my lights on and everything. I got the top fully extended. And, uh, there's my bed over the top here in case I have a guest place to sleep. And, um, there's my, uh, front window. You see outside. Hard to see out there because of the um, tent and the uh, lights on inside here. But um, slept in here all night today. I was uh, uploading videos and stuff. I was watching my tablet for entertainment. I gotta get television in here because I need a bigger screen. But uh, here's Cole's bed down here. And uh, got my heater in here. It's, all, it's already warm in here so it's not kicking on. But I am in the driveway of my house. I'm not out somewhere camping somewhere. But um, that comes later. Just got to work out the bugs. And uh, I got my lights on in here. And um, let's see what temperature is outside. Okay, it's 50 degrees outside, guys. And 73 degrees inside here. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Got my inverter going. That's off my batteries. Still got 12 volts in my battery. And um, got my Ego battery there, uh, plugged up to my chargers so I can charge my phone and stuff. I got my Mosquito uh, Thermosil Mosquito uh, Backpacker in here to keep the mosquitoes out. I would have set it outside. It's a little chilly now for mosquitoes, but I would have set it outside earlier so it'll keep them from coming in here altogether. The only way they can get in is through this door, through this opening right here. Everything else is sealed pretty tight. So, no mosquitoes going to get in here. There's a skylight right there, but I got it covered now. But, um, everything is working out good. I prop these up here once I get it raised up to take the um, stress off of the motors of the uh, actuators. You know, this comes completely down. There's the top, and there's the bottom. When, um, this is fully extended now, but when it comes down, this will be touching this and there'll be a seam right here. So it's that's about 12, about 15 inches of lift. It allows me to be able to stand up in here. Got my toboggan on. It's got Bluetooth uh, speakers in it. I sleep with that on my head so I can listen to stuff while I'm sleeping. So I gotta crouch a little bit. You know, if it was another maybe Two inches higher, I'd be able to stand up straight and whatever. But that's good enough. I don't need any higher than that. So, in the summertime, the heat will go up to the top there. And then, I got pillows in here. That uh, insulates me from the outside. This is actually... Outside there. So, I don't know how good that came out, but that keeps the heat in. And if it's uh, if it's hot outside, I got one of these on either side. One there, and one there. So in the summertime when it's hot, I can uh, put a fan over there to exhaust the, um, the hot air. So I'll, I'll stay you know, cool in here. And, um, and I got this fan here. Nice. It actually feels good because it's a little warm in here. It's 72 degrees in here. So, it goes high if need be. Yeah, so. Yeah. So, it, it was nice and cozy in here last night. Slept real comfortably because I've got a twin size bed. Back off so you guys can see better. Here's my bed twin size because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room to sleep you know roll around and everything and whatever and Cole likes to sleep with me in spite of the fact that he's got a bed right here perfectly good bed to sleep in right there he would rather hop up in the bed with me 
and sleep with me or whatever. I can't get him to go up here. If I put a treat up here, he'll go up there, but he won't stay. So I got to make that more comfortable. I got to get some blankets up there for that part or whatever. But uh, if I have a guest, another person uh, sleeps in here that's uh, less than six foot tall. I've laid up there before, so it's it's doable for somebody six foot two, but uh, it's a little bit of a cramp. But it, I've done it. It could be I could sleep up there if I had to, but um, most women aren't that uh, aren't that tall, so. But uh, it's good enough for me and Cole for now. Got a light switch up there. It's battery operated. That's another thermosail. One of my uh, subscribers sent that to me. And uh, this thermos, thermos cell here, I saw a lead farmer with that, so I got it. Same thing with this bench right here, this uh, this table. It's a folding table, lead farmer. I saw him with that, so I got, got, got myself one. This is a mosquito zapper. For any mosquitoes that happen to manage to make their way in here, that'll take care of them, so. And this is all on my battery, guys. You know, from the solar that I collected today, for my solar panels, you know, I'm using the juice from that to run everything in here. These are battery, I got battery for that. And uh, so, that's about it. My bathroom, as you know, is under there. I got a bathroom, all I have to do is uh, hit the switch. This is my switch for raising and lowering the uh, the canopy, I guess you would call it. And this switch over here is for bringing the bed forward and back. So when I move the bed back, the bed will come all the way back to here and close this area off, exposing an area equal to that size where my bathroom is. My toilet, I got a toilet there with a bucket underneath and everything, you know, nice and private if I ever have to use it. And um, of course, uh, if I have to go really quick, I got, you know, you got the pee bottles and whatever. Uh, iced tea bottles make the best ones because they're the right height and the right size. And um, always use a funnel with those guys because you don't want any uh, spills. I got a funnel for them and everything. So it's pretty cool. I got this blanket up to the doorway here. Here's outside. dark out there and uh, I put that uh, mat over top of it to keep the cool air from coming in insulation across the side here that slides back and forth so that I can make that opening bigger I still got some more modifications I need to do but uh, uh, as it stands right now this thing is camper ready it is camping ready it's all set ready to go so this is what it looks like from the outside Gotta be quiet because it's early. I have motion lights out here. But this is a, it's my house, the front yard. It's pretty dark out here. You can barely see what's going on. I got motion lights that come on automatically. So, that's pretty cool. Those are mosquito candle lights there. Sitting on the trailer. This is my truck. Motion lights, my yard. Pretty early. Nobody's out. The birds are chirping. Like I see, it's early. I'm waiting for those lights to go out so I can see how much light is coming out here from the uh, camper. But, uh, it's all good. Another light I got over here on the side of the house. My plants are coming in really nicely. They're coming in really full. And um, I'm waiting for that light to go off so I can get a look at it from. Should have went off by now. Let me go back further. Maybe it won't see me. There we go. Okay, it's sensitive. Well, that's pretty good. Nobody's gonna sneak up on me. So, that works out good. 
and you can't see up in there with all that light I got inside there. You can't really see in there from out here. Let's see what you got. So that's that guys. And that's my camper in the driveway. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.